There you go, you're ever looking for bait, that's the way to do it. We might have one. Put him in our bucket. Yep, there we go. Oh man, that took less than a minute. Once again, he's gonna make some good bait. Hey Tony, throw me another one of those sunny heads. That's kind of gross. What's up YouTube, Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is October 12th. As you can see, it is a super nasty, messy day outside. So we are not gonna be fishing today. Actually, this is a video I shot a few days ago. I was gonna scrap this footage, but due to the fact that I didn't go out fishing yesterday, it's a nasty day here today, and I'm a little bored, I'm just gonna do a real quick edit and make this video. The trout stockings are coming up here this week in Eastern Pennsylvania, so I hope everybody's excited for that. I hope you guys also all like this video. If at any point you do, scroll down below, hit the thumbs up button. Helps me out and the fish like it as well. Eastern PA fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. You guys have been asking for a catfishing video, so hopefully we're gonna make that happen for you today. To catch catfish, you need bait. So first I'm gonna head down to the creek and catch myself some sunfish, and that's what we're gonna be using for bait. Hit the thumbs up button. Well guys, as you can see, this video is a little different than some of the others already. I almost never have my little aerator or my bucket with me. We're gonna start this one out right. I did bring some corn with me, but I think I'm gonna forage around and see if I can find myself some night crawlers or some worms just to make this video a little more interesting. I'm gonna put my stuff down here. Have you guys never looked for worms before? Good way to do it is just find a pile of sticks like this. Just turn them over. There's one already. 10 seconds of looking. We got the first worm. Let's keep going through this wet stuff. Always look under the sticks. That's where you're gonna find them. Oh, here's a nice big juicy one. I don't know how many sunfish we're actually gonna need. Probably only like about two or three, depending on what size they are. I don't wanna take ones that are too big. This creek's overpopulated with sunfish anyway, so I don't really feel bad about it. Oh, here's the third victim. There's another, there's number four. Less than a minute of looking. I think we're gonna get two more big juicy worms. Oh, here's another, it's a lively one. Let's get one more. Here we go, there's another big one. That is one, two, three, four, five, six worms in less than a minute. There you go, you're ever looking for bait, that's the way to do it. Just find some wet sticks, look under there, guarantee you there'll be worms. Alrighty, now that my hand's all dirty, let's catch ourselves some bait. Well, and conveniently enough, right here is another little bucket. Someone's trash, they left in the woods, or something that washed down creek after a flood. I'm gonna put our worms in here, so we can use this bucket for our sunfish. There we go, everything seems to be working out pretty well. Let's get some water in here. Whew, water's a little cold for these sandals. Oh, look at that. Another big wolf spider in there. Eh, it should be enough water. If I need more, I can get it. I have a tiny little size six Aberdeen hook on here. I have a little fluorocarbon leader. Probably don't even need that for the sunfish with the live bait, especially when you're using worms. You just catch these fish right away. Anyway, I have a little tiny split shot on there about a foot away. That's all we're using today. Let's hook up the first worm, first victim. Oh man, these are some brittle little worms. Well, surprisingly, there's nothing here. It's like a better spot anyway. All right, there's a couple little sunfish out there. Oh, we might have one. Oh my gosh. It would have been the perfect size. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh boy, there we go, we got one. Perfect, perfect size, not too big. There we go, first victim to the worm. Sweet, put him in our bucket. Hopefully he doesn't hop out of there. Like I said earlier, this creek is overpopulated with sunfish anyway. I don't feel too bad taking a couple out of here. Come on, one more sunny. 
I didn't expect this to take too long. I'm used to coming down to this creek and catching about 20 sunnies in the time I've spent here already, which was probably about 15 minutes. Just trying to catch a sunny. It's kind of ridiculous. We only really probably need that one sunny there for what we're gonna do today. But nice to have a little backup just in case we want to live hook one. Let's put another little worm on here. Let's change spots. Alrighty, I got two worms left, which means I probably have about four casts before I get robbed. I only have one fish in the bucket so far. I can go scrounge around and get some more bait if I have to. But hopefully we can catch something from this little pool here. This is just a little feeder creek to the bigger creek I was just fishing. Definitely have no interest in using a bass to catch catfish. Gotta catch another panfish. Oh, I think we're getting a bite. Yep, there we go. Aw, oh, man. Oh, Mr. Bass. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to catch you that way. Oh, 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 get in the water. Don't fall on the ground. Knock yourself out. Well, there's a little bass out there. He was nice enough to leave us a worm. So let's get back out there. Oh, that's a bite. That's definitely a bite. Oh, we got it. Whatever it is. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Why did it have to be a pumpkin seed? Oh. Well, turns out it's another species of fish that I didn't really want to take from the creek. It's a little pumpkin seed. Guys are kind of rare around here. It looks like he swallowed it anyway. I'm gonna see if we can get this guy back into the water without killing him, but chances are that tiny little mouth, you're not gonna be able to get this hook out. There he goes. It's like we're not using him for bait. He's not really swimming off too hot. Darn. I should have just thrown him right in the bucket. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Had to catch probably the only pumpkin seed over there. Alrighty. I have another worm on there. Only have half of a worm left. Hopefully we can get something here. Call it a day. Oh, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. Is he going to take it? Oh, he freaking... Oh. Oh, why didn't I just put that pumpkin seed in the bucket? We really only have one worm left here, guys. This is probably our last shot. I might just have to go dig some more up. I'm acting like it's such a chore. You know, it only took me a freaking minute to get six worms. And I'm here like, oh, man. I might just have to call it a day. <laughs> just kidding. Yep. There you go. Oh, man, no. It's a bass. Thankfully, he's right on the lip. Oh, I'm sorry again. Mr. Bass number two for the day. I appreciate you, dude. There you go. You can be free. Tell your little sunfish friends down there they better get hungry. Bite, we're going to bite. Come on, sunfish. Come on, oh my gosh. Well guys, I just got robbed from my last worm. Honestly, one sunfish is enough to do what I'm gonna try to do today, which is catch a big old catfish. I'm gonna use him as cut bait so I can pretty much get a decent amount of use out of him. I don't know. Should I go get some more worms? I guess that might be a good idea. As long as our little friend here doesn't decide to jump out of that bucket. Let's go get some more worms real quick. More wet sticks. Let's see what we can find. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. We're not going to use all these. There's seven. There's eight. There's nine. And there's 10 and 11. Here we go. That took less than a minute. Once again, we got 11 worms this time. Head back over to our stuff. 
Hopefully our little red breast sunfish didn't escape yet or else we're in real trouble. Yeah, it's looking like a red breast stuck it out with us. It's pretty lively down there still. There's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. Take it, yes, we got him, we got him. There we go. Oh man, is it, are you kidding me? It's another pumpkin seed. You know what, dude? I'm not gonna discriminate today. You're no better than any of the other panfish in this creek. There you go. Guess this way we can also figure out what the catfish prefer more. Pumpkin seeds or red breast? We don't really even need to catch any more fish. We should be good with what we have now. I think if we catch anything else, we're just gonna release it. Just for fun. Use up the rest of these night crawlers. There's a bite. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, it's another pumpkin seed. Huh. Beautiful little fish. Look at that guy. Awesome little fall colors. It's one of the reasons I don't really want to use these guys. Pretty little fish. Seems like there's quite a good population of them here though. And there we go. Okay. Well, this guy swallowed the heck out of it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to save him. He might end up coming with us anyway. Mr. Pumpkin Seed, beautiful little fish. Yeah, I can't even get that out. I'm just gonna let you keep it, dude. Here we go, guys. Another beautiful little pumpkin seed. It's gonna make some good bait. Well, there we go, everybody. This is pretty much gonna wrap up the first portion of this video. Just caught myself whole bunch of live bait. I'm gonna throw these worms back now. Well, not back. I'm just gonna toss them in the water. Maybe some hungry sunfish will come get them. Anyway, that's gonna do it for us. We got three in there. Probably a little more than we need. Maybe I'll have a friend come with me later, help me catch some of these catfish. I didn't really wanna take the pumpkin seeds. You know, they're kinda of rare for this creek, but that's all I was catching here today, and that lets me know that there's a pretty good population of them, at least in this portion of the creek. So I don't mind taking a couple of them today to catch some catfish. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that later. Hope you guys all liked the episode so far, like I said earlier. If you haven't already, scroll down below, hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, heck are you waiting for do that right now easter pa fishing here you know what it is by now let's catch some catfish guys well everybody if you made it this far congratulations you are now at the catfishing portion of this video kind of well we're actually on the way to the spot now eastern pa dad and myself we're gonna go get all set up get our cut bait in the water hopefully you're gonna catch some big old catfish stay tuned Hey, Tony, throw me another one of those sunny heads. <laughs> Leaning forward. Forward. <laughs> you got it, Tony. Leaning lean forward. That's kind of gross. All set up and just got to wait now.